Hello there, you are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Always a great privilege to be in a position where God gives me prophetic messages and I have to relay to you. And my prayer is always that this channel serves as a platform for spiritual reawakening i prayed always that this platform serves as a place where god can minister to someone redirect them give them focus and all that so their spiritual life can be built so if this is the first time you're coming across this channel thank you for clicking on this video believe me god is leading you here for something amazing for something great and my prayer is that you do not miss out on what the lord has for you through this platform believe me life is spiritual and before you clicked on this video god already knew that you were going to be a part of this family a part of this channel and he has already you know put in place mechanisms to be of a blessing to you and i pray pray that you will not miss out on whatsoever God has for you on this platform in the mighty name of Jesus. To my returning subscribers, you are just amazing. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you for the numerous testimonies you share. It, it does strengthen me and keeps me going, believing that God is going to do great and mighty things, more and more things to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Lord says someone was placed in a tight situation. They have to choose between you and the system. And it's a very difficult thing for them. But the good news is that because you are deserving of a reward, because you are deserving of a promotion, because you are deserving to be prepared, preferred god is going to make it happen against all odds god is going to make that happen against the systems against the people that are trying to make your life difficult by making you an option god is going to make a clear distinction in the mighty name of jesus look at what happened in the case of daniel while he was in babylon the bible says when king darius took over as king you know, he had to appoint people to serve as commissioners with him. And three men were appointed, one being um, Daniel. And I think Daniel was the only foreigner in that squad. And because he had a spirit of excellence, he was distinguished among those three. He had a spirit of excellence. And the king could not just turn a blind eye to it because he was not a Babylonian. And the king decided to place him as head of all the commissioners remember there were just three of them and god wanted to place him or the king darius decided to place him as the head of that realm and the other two people were not getting it they were not just getting it for whatsoever reason daniel is a foreigner how can he be the head among us and now they started devising ways to take him down they started devising ways to 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 exterminate him to make sure that he never gets to that position and mind you the king already had a soft spot for daniel who will not have a soft spot for someone that distinguishes themselves with excellence he had a different spirit every leader would like such a person to be in their team or to hurt their team and the others will not have it and they tried and so they, they 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 noticed that daniel had a daily routine daniel's daily routine was to pray three times to god three times to god and so they went to the king and they said okay you should um pass a law that forbids anyone from praying to any god besides you because they knew daniel is going to fall and yes, even after the decree was passed, Daniel still went and prayed three times like he would normally do. And those people, they came together, reported Daniel to the king, and they brought Daniel to the king, accused him of praying to a different God, which is the God of Israel, the God, the Lord of hosts. And it reminded the king of the penalty that attracted such an offense.
And the Bible says the king was distressed. He felt so bad that he had passed such a law. And the Bible says throughout that day, he kept on looking for ways to be able to save Daniel. He looked for ways to be able to remove him from that trap. He did everything he could throughout the day to find a loophole by which he was going to save Daniel from that decree. And yet there was none. Because the people that set it up, they did it so well and they ensured there was no loophole that Daniel could have gotten out of it. And so those same people at night, they came back to the king and they said, King, this is what the, the law you, you, you enacted says. He has to be placed in the lion's den because they knew there is no way out for him once he get in, gets into the lion's den. And the king was placed in that tight corner. He had his love for Daniel and he had a law he had enacted, signed and sealed. He was placed there. He had no choice but to succumb to it. Place Daniel in the lion's den, place a seal or stone on it to make sure he doesn't come out and that what he has said cannot be, you know, retrieved or he cannot go back on his word. The Bible says when the king went back home, he could not eat. He could not sleep. No music was played in the palace because he was in distress. He was in pain. He felt so frustrated that he had played, put um, Daniel in the lion's den. That is how much the king loved Daniel. That is how much he wanted to save Daniel because he was extraordinary and first thing in the morning when the king woke up he rushed to the to the lion's den and he called out out to daniel daniel was your god the one you prayed to every day was he able to deliver you from the hands of the lion and why he was saying this he expected that daniel was going to talk back he expected that somehow god or daniel's god would have been able to save him and oh yes just like he predicted daniel answered said my god was able to save me he shut the mouth of the lion and kept me here because he judged me innocent the king was so happy to get Daniel out of the den. At the end of the day, his love won. And God is saying, somebody, under the sound of my voice, there is someone that loves you so much. But people have teamed up, they have ganged up, and they have placed them in a tight corner that they might not be able to have um, um, a reason to choose you. But God, the God of hosts, the God who shot the mouth of, lion, of the lion in the case of, of Daniel, he will show up in your case and make you the chosen one, the preferred one in Jesus' mighty name. Did you receive the word of the Lord with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.